Burnett, Roy Rogers. How do you do, Mr. Rogers? How do you do? Mr. Burnett has an IOU from the Sons of the Pioneers for $10,000. It's got your signature on it. That's right. I did go on a note for them. Why, didn't they pay up? No, they haven't. I've extended it twice already. I really need the money, and unless you can pay it, I'll be forced to take back their tent and show equipment. That'd close them up. That's right. But I've got to have the cash. Under the circumstances, there's nothing I can do about it. $10,000. I doubt if I could raise that much if I sold the whole ranch. Do you suppose you could give me a couple of weeks on it? Well, I... The lawyers worked pretty hard to get this little spread. Well, I... Sure. Well, thanks. I'll get in touch with the boys right away and see if we can straighten this thing out. That'll be fine. Good luck, Rogers. Thanks. I'll be seeing you. Thank you, Sheriff. Don't look very good, old girl. I sure hope I don't have to find you a new home. Hey. What's the matter, Candy? Oh, one of my suitcases is missing. It must have fallen out of the car. That's the only thing that could have happened to it. Marcus, why don't you go back and have a look? No, that's all right, Harry. I'll go. Everybody's pretty busy. It looks like somebody's lost something. Looks like that somebody was a girl. Hmm, not bad. Like deep desert wells with sparks from silver stars above. Your voice is sweet as mission bells. Your skin is like a marble dove. Don't ever fall in love, Trigger. That's what it does to you. Always your devoted slave, Rico. property mean anything to you all i was doing was trying to find no. out no you've been snooping through my private papers too people shouldn't leave their stuff scattered oh there ought to be a law against people like you you not had you all i was doing was trying to it's a little late now to apologize look at this stuff I can't get it closed. Thank you. 
Here, let me help you. No, thanks. You've helped me enough already. Mission bells, your skin is like the marble. Bell. <laughs> hey, that's a very beautiful silver saddle. With one hand on buckle, you're gone. Now, please, amigo, long the guns to me for a moment. to me like I've met you before. Your face looks familiar, too. Now, if you'll pardon me, this is what I'm after. You've gone to a lot of trouble just for a picture. Maybe to you, but it is worth it. Hasta la vista. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> Provinciana huele a limpio rosa temprana. A ver, deja de fresca del río, son mis palomos su caserío. Guadalajara, Guadalajara, huele a pura tierra mojada. Ay, laguna de Chapala, viene de un cuento la magia. Cuento de ocasos y de alboradas, de enamoradas, noches lunadas. Quieta chapala es tu laguna, novia romántica como ninguna. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, colonitos lejanos. Hermanos, hay 
coloritos inolvidables, inolvidables como las tardes en que la lluvia desde la loma irnos así hasta Zapopa. Ay, ay, ay. You are more beautiful than... I flew to your side. Say your words for someone who will believe them. But you must believe them. You are my angel. You are my little white dog. Your voice is sweet like... Follow that girl everywhere. They'll catch you and they say you did many bad things. They will never catch Rico. He's too small for them. But maybe Rico will catch the real bandits. And then they will believe me innocent. You know they will never believe you. Let us leave now. No, my angel. We are staying. It's that girl you will not leave. <laughs> Such a child. How about a room? Sorry, we're all filled up. Could you suggest some other place? Sure I could, but they'd be full too. All the hotels are crowded like a free lunch counter at high noon. I can't even get you in tomorrow. Those people with the tent show had reservations for two months. You don't happen to have a good park around here, do you? No, but you could try the cemetery. I guess Trigger's stall's gonna be a little crowded. Say, nice guns you got there. Mind if I have a look at them? Not at all. A good balance. Personally, I prefer double action. Well, these do all right for you once you get used to them. Put your hands up. This is the law. Not the constable of Santa Lucia. Yes, sir. Constable Bullfincher and no monkey business. <laughs> Hey. Cookie, you've been seeing too many Western pictures. I <laughs> thought you were the gypsy. How are you? Fine. The gypsy? Oh, some fella just been driving his daffy around this neck of the woods. I think I know who you mean. Say, Cookie, what does a guy have to do in this town? Stand up all night? <laughs> Think fine standing room. Hey, I got a place upstairs with an extra bunk. Why don't you stay with me? I can't very well refuse him, can I? <laughs> Here you are, Constable. We haven't seen each other for a long time. I'm mighty lucky to have this room. Been living here 20 years. This was a bridal suite when I moved in. Here you are, Roy. This one never did fit me. You bunk here. Unpack your bags and hang your clothes in the closet. All right. I'm going to turn in. Got a busy day tomorrow. Still a bachelor, I see. If you think I'd marry a woman, you're daffy. I rented this room nearly 20 years ago for my wedding, and two hours before the ceremony, Magnolia Bell ran off with a guy from the carnival. And I can't understand why. 
And I don't trust women or show people anymore. What you doing around here? Going to see some friends of mine. Say, Cookie, tell me more about this gypsy. Gypsy? Here's about all I know. Wanted. Boy, would I like to put a face in there. Wanted for questioning. Yeah, he sure is. There's been a lot of oil company stick-ups around here, and they think he's got something to do with it. What do you think? I don't know. There's a $10,000 reward for whoever did it. $10,000? Hey, tell me more. Just what do you know about these robberies, Cookie? All the stuff's on the desk. There's a newspaper clipping from every city where an oil company was robbed. For $10,000, this might be worth looking into. <laughs> What's the hobble for? Keeps me from walking in my sleep. <laughs> Turn out the light, will you? <laughs> oh. Looks like most of the robberies follow a pattern. The oil office of Milo City was held up at noon. Noon, that's a pretty busy time to pull a job like that. Listen to this. Sheriff Flint in Dutchess County says that in each case of robbery, the Great Southwestern Tent Show was planned in the vicinity. No wonder the boys are having trouble. Did the show get in town today? Bob, how about giving me a hand, will you? I heard my old pal calling to me. He needs a helping hand. It makes me happy, hardly to say. Here is my helping hand. When traffic calls me, partner, just call me. Here is my helping hand. Share all your cares, for I will be there, for here is my helping hand. And you'll find your sunshine comes all at one time when you are sharing someone's burden. And it's just like saying, when you are saying, say, here is my helping hand. If you should wait with nothing to do, 
gloomy days at hand. Just call a friend and ask him if you can lend your helping hand. And try it it for me, partner, just call me. He is my helping hand. And shed all your tears, for I will be there for you. Stop clowning. Yeah, clowning. <laughs> Say, Harry, did you get the license all right? Well, I passed out a lot of cigars and I bought refreshments for the right people, but there's a hitch. What's wrong? The constable's holding us up. Oh, do you think I should talk to him? No, no, no. I wouldn't do that, Candy. You see, uh, there's anything that the constable hates worse than show people. It's women. Funny man. Yeah, he is, and a lot of him. Well, that's just something else for us to worry about. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Will you come here a minute? Hey, am I seeing a ghost? Hey, fellas. Hiya, Bob. I told you to you. Come on, Harry. It's sure good seeing you fellas again, but I guess you know the main reason I'm here is a little matter of about 10,000 bucks. Yeah. Well, we've been sort of expecting to hear from you. We got off to a good start with the show, but... Oh, it's been awful rough, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Robert, a little busy in here to talk business. Do you suppose we could find a quieter place? I think so. I want you to meet somebody. Candy Martin, the star of our show. Roy Rogers. Hello there. Say, did you ever get that horn stuck? Yes, it stopped blowing after the battery ran down. I'm sorry if I seemed a little upset, but I had no way of knowing. Oh, that's all right. Hey, what's going on here? You two know each other? Slightly. We have a mutual friend. Oh, this is Harry Blaisdell, Mr. Rogers. Hi. How are you? Harry's the manager of the show, Roy, so anything you have to say in front of the boys and myself, you can say in front of Harry and Candy. We know about that note you signed, and we hope to have it paid off long ago, but bad luck seems to follow us everywhere through no fault of our own. They're even canceling our bookings. Yeah, I know. My friend Constable Bullfincher told me all about the robbers. Your friend Constable Bullfincher is holding up our license, too, and that's not helping us any. Well, don't worry. I'll take care of Cookie. The main thing right now is the 10,000. But we just haven't got it yet, Roy. I guess the only thing we can do is close up the show and let them come and take the equipment back. Well, cheer up, boys. We've still got a couple of weeks. If we're lucky, we might be able to figure out something. See, I thought of something last night. Somebody's been making things look pretty bad for you. Might be the gypsy. We know that. Well, if we can capture that somebody... We collect the reward, pay off the loan, and everybody's happy. Except the gypsy. Or somebody. You make it sound awfully easy. We've all... Yeah, yeah we like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's an idea. I'll run over and see Cookie about your license right now. Don't worry about that. Thanks. See you later. Well, we might mind that. I got an idea, too. You better keep it. We're in enough trouble already. No, honest, this is a good one. Roy! How about joining up with the act again and singing with us? Well, at a time like this, it might not be a bad idea at that. Let's oh, talk well, about it, huh? Oh, right, yeah. 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 He's after the reward for the payroll bandits. He thinks the gypsy's guilty. Whoever gets wise, we're in trouble. Ah, uh, we'll let him hang around for a while, but if he gets too close to the gypsy, you know what to do. Sure. What about the pay office job? Everything set? All we have to do is help ourselves. <laughs> Check the mechanism, fellas. We won't use it again until we do a show. And keep your mouth shut. Well, that's just a 
another proof that there's one born every minute. <laughs> Just what can I do for you? You can leave my Rico alone. Rico? Oh, I don't even know him. How can you say that? He has your pictures. He writes your love poems. He follows you everywhere. Look, I don't see how I can stop you or Rico or anybody else from going where he wants to go and writing what he wants to write. You better make him stop or it might be dangerous for both of you. Something terrible will happen to him. And maybe to you, too. What's the matter, Miss Martin? Oh, this young lady seems to think I'm chasing a friend of hers, and I don't even know him. You lie. You don't know the gypsy. The gypsy? Yes. Rico, the gypsy. You better make him stop or... Take it easy. That's all right, Miss Martin. I'll take care of her. What's going on here? Mind your own business. Ow! When I tell Rico, he'll kill you for this. Just a minute. What's that about Rico? Hey! What's the matter with you? He didn't hurt anybody. Bring it up there. Bring it up. Bring it up. What's the idea, Marcus? You had no right to hit Rogers. He's with the show now. Well, she's gone. Now let's finish this deal. Let it go. Let it go, Roy. He didn't mean anything. Somebody must have rung a bell on him, huh? Well? I don't know, boss. I guess I made a mistake. I thought he was going to, uh, uh... I guess I lost my head. Oh, yeah. It's like you said. Somebody must have rung the bell. I'm sorry, Rogers. She wasn't doing anything wrong. She just seemed a little excited, that's all. Did she say anything about the gypsy? She said he was in love with me. Looks like that 10,000 getting a little closer. Let's see if we can pick her up. Quick thinking. You gotta raise your cut in all those jobs we pulled. Gee, thanks. Too bad they stopped the fight. I'm uh, just ready to tear that Rogers apart. Forget it, forget it. Right now, we got more important things to do. Hey, that crack about the bell, you don't think I'm punch drunk, do you? <laughs> no silver spurs Tinkled like hers and mine it was music divine, but now it's gone. Pardon me if I sigh. I, 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 I. Let me tell you a tale of the old Spanish trade. And I used to ride side by side down the old Spanish way. Did you pay for two seats, senor? Passed. Oh, then move over. Oh. 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 So we talked of a June honeymoon on the old Spanish way. One was passing the cantina that night she was in somebody else's arms. have I seen her since then only now and again ah Miss Martin isn't she wonderful why I want to listen to Rogers down the old Spanish play. Pardon me if I sigh. I, 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 I.
find you again, this in that woman. I told you before what I was going to do the next time I caught you. Man, you man, might Rico, you hear me? No, the girl's gonna get you. Take it easy, my little dog. No! Oh! Lemon! <laughs> little dove! My Rico! Rico? The gypsy. Roy! 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 <laughs> Wanted to hang. You go back to the camp. I lead him away. Here's the gypsy. I seen him with my own eyes. Ten thousand in the bag. Let him go. Let him go. He's got a good head start. They'll never catch him. All right, folks, the excitement's over. Marcus, you're on. Hey, boss, look. Listen, they should happen to catch up with that gypsy and he talks. We're cooked. We gotta get him first. He's bound to show up at their camp sooner or later. Follow that gal. Cannot swim. <laughs> Mojarito, eh? <laughs> I know you're after me because I am the gypsy. You're right. You've been wanted for a long time. I know what you're thinking, but you are wrong. I too am looking for the real bandits. That sounds like an alibi for always being near the holdups. I'm near them because I must be near the woman I love. These robberies are bringing misfortune to her, so I must solve them for her sake. Do you expect me to believe that? If I was a real bandit, I would not talk like this. I will kill you and save my breath. Do not follow me, please. Oh, 
Lolita, what are you doing here? Where have you been? ¿Qué te importa dónde hay estado? Well, I do care. Oh, Rico, you are fool to risk your life just to see that woman. Lolita, I'm afraid you are jealous. I hate her. Oh, you tore them. And I shall turn them off. Oh. That woman is making you mad. Lolita, you should try to understand. She is wonderful. If I could only meet her, I will die happy. <laughs> if you keep on, you may die before you meet her. <laughs> hey, I think she really got mad at me this time. Lola, Lolita, you must not say that. You know you're the only one. The others don't count. Let's get out of here. Oh, Rico! The shot came from the hill. Are you all right, Rico? See, si, but I want them to believe I'm dead. Follow them. Vámonos, vámonos. Pick up the train. Bring me a little water, please. In seguida. So, you faker, you're all right now. But what I told you in the wagon about that woman can still come true. Who? I only say I wasn't hurt because I don't want the rest to worry. Lord, oh! 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 My poor Rico. I'm so sorry for the terrible things I said. Let me die in peace. Oh! Like this, I will die happy. Die happy? How bad it is. Oh, it's only scratch. Ah, just like a load, I say you're a faker. <laughs> to read your fortune. Well, that's very nice of you, but let's do it some other time. I'm pretty busy right now. Please. There's a man in love with you. The man I was going to marry. But I told you before, I can't help that. He's been shot and he wants to see you. He doesn't even know I'm here. But he told me that if he only could see you, he would die happy. Listen. I don't know what your game is, but you can't expect me to believe that. Now, just go away and leave me alone. You don't think my Rico asking for another girl is making me happy. She's mine. And you can have him. Now, I've got a show to do, so will you please just go you and... You will come please. with me. Now. Yes. Yes, I guess I will. My car is right over here. No. Where we're going, only horses can take us. Oh. Oh, well, I'll take this one. I'm sure the owner won't mind. Remember, no monkey business. No monkey business. Hey, 
Hey! boys like to go to jail. Oh, not me. Are you kidding? Hey. I thought you said you got the gypsy. <laughs> That's what they were just telling me. We did. Got him with one shot. That's what you think. He's not dead. He's not dead. We saw him fall. He tricked you, you stupid fool. Come on. Oh, no, not you. If there's any bungling to be done, I'll do it myself. Right. You say the trail led into town? Hey. But I don't know anybody there. Ah, uh, the sheriff. Oh, he will not run from here. He can run. He's too fat, gordito. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick. Move out of sight. I call you if I need you. Mamacita, prisa, prisa. Si, si, hijo mio. Tapa me. Andale, cuídate, eh? Why did you bring it here? Don't you know it's dangerous for anybody to know where we are? You should have not come. Well, it wasn't exactly my idea. Your girlfriend said you were dying. Oh. See, don't you remember? You told me that if you only could see her, you would die happy. Oh. Yes, thank you, my pet. She's so thoughtful. Can't I get you a doctor? No, no. It's too late now. I'm a dead pigeon. Well, I guess there's nothing more I can do. I'd better be going. Miss Martin? Yes? There is one thing that you can do. Just a little kiss. Well, I... Sure. It'd be a pleasure. Oh, no. First, you have to hold my hand and sing me a song. Uh-uh. Not until we have a little talk first. Roy! Oh, am I glad to see you. I knew you'd follow Trigger. There's our $10,000. Looks like you have a little explaining to do. I'm not too sure about the 10000 Well, this girl forced me to come here. That is right. She lost her, but she has never seen him before. I know. What she says is true. Hello, Royals. I'm looking down the other end of the pistola this time, but it won't do you any good. What's the matter with you? Well, I... He's been shot. Who did it? I don't know. The camp is well hidden, but the shot came from the hill. Better get Cookie and have him bring a doctor in a wagon. No, no. You can do your explaining in a nice, cool hospital bed. In jail. Now, senorita, will you sing a song for me? Then you can take me. Sure, Rico. I'll sing for you. The one about the hacienda? Mm-hmm. Por favor, tráeles una guitarra. Will you help me to stand?
lovelier than orchids blooming in the patio. Soft desert stars and the strum of guitars make every evening seem so sweet. In my adult day I see in love, life and love are more complete. Mi reinas de cielo, or a nod of the soul, and roll into the next town with our honor bright and clean. All right, tie him up. Wait! What are you going to do? Oh, don't worry. That's right. We're not going to hang him yet. We're just going to tie him up and take him into town where somebody else can do it. He's money in the bank. Oh, no, he isn't. You wouldn't do that to him. Here, here. <laughs> Hold this little pepper pie. It isn't necessary to tie him up. No. Rico said he'd go with us after we sang a song. That is true. We have to get a wagon before we can move him. He's hurt bad. Don't worry. All we have to do is deliver the body, lead him to us. I said keep your hands off of him. <laughs> I suppose you want to sing him another song. Marcus! Harry, can't you stop this? We'll see who's going to take him back to town. Go get him. I'll help you, kid. <laughs> Dell, is there any doubt in your mind now who's going to take Rico in? No, he's all yours. You won't need a wagon to get him there either. 
For a dying man just a few minutes ago, you did all right. I feel much better now. Say, what are you trying to pull? Look at that, he's only scratched. Oh, Rico, you better. I'm so glad. He isn't hurt. He was lying. So, you tricked me again. He's no good. You can have him. Oh, boo. <laughs> You won't get lost in there. You are so right. A lot of people want to talk to you, but that'll wait till morning. Well, we can put a face with this now. Come on, I'm going to hit the hay. You go on ahead. I want to have a talk with Rico. All right, turn the lights off when you're finished. Okay. <laughs> Say, Rico, why did you pull that phony dying act out there? I only wanted to make my Lola sorry for me. How could I know that she was going to bring Miss Martin and then you and all the others would come? Al fin mujer. And you said a shot was fired at you. That is true. Lola and the rest of the gypsies will tell you. Well, can you think of any reason why anyone would want you dead? No. Some people will do things like that for money. Yes, I know. But if they were after the reward, they wouldn't try to kill you. See, si. then I could not talk. Maybe that's it. Maybe someone doesn't want you to talk. Royers. I don't think the sheriff will mind. Gracias, amigo. Good night. Oh, hello, Mr. Rogers. Hiya, Red. Say, how about seeing if I got any mail? Wait, I'll see. What you got? Not good enough. My unlucky day. Just think we'd have had that gypsy easy if Rogers hadn't messed things up. Yeah. The boss feels pretty bad about it. And he ruined one of my best shirts. But I'll be able to handle him next time. I'll stay away from that right hand. Come on, come on, come on. There's no use wailing about it now. Just be sure that everything runs smooth tomorrow. Now that Rogers has got Rico just where we don't want him. In jail. Hey. Hey, maybe that's the break for us. Yeah, I'll bet. Where are you going? Nowhere. If that gypsy escapes from jail tomorrow, they'll be sure he's the man they're after. Especially if there's a robbery the same day. Yeah. And then we won't have to clear out of town so fast. Of course. Maybe we'll have time to pull another job. Or maybe two. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, you boys are going to make a social call on that fat constable. Oh, let me go along. I'll hit him so hard he'll be acting like I am. Hey, will you stop that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, boss. Morning, Red. Morning, Constable. Well, I gotta get over to jail and get that prisoner some breakfast. We ain't had anybody in there in so long, I had to let the cook go. <laughs> hey, I had the funniest dream last night. I dreamt that Blaisdell sent two of his men over to break into jail and let the gypsy escape. Probably something he ate because they seemed awfully anxious to put him in jail last night. I know that, and they sure did seem anxious to get him out of jail, too. I couldn't mistake Blaisdell's voice any place. I could hear it just as plain, just like I was standing there. Couldn't have been much of a dream. He's still in there. Well, 
got something to be happy about. I'm going to run over and see the pioneers. I'll drop by and have a talk with Rico after you fed him. See you later. <laughs> Dreams. <laughs> Cantante gordito, no soplas. Oh, thank you. I always sing when I'm happy. I'm happy. My Lolita loves me. Oh, love. I'll never love again. If you forget me, my heart won't let Someone you I'll never dream again. How could I go on dreaming if each dream that we made were to suddenly fade in the blue? I'll never thrill again. Someone's kiss Oh, what good would it do It's you I'll miss My heart is yours alone So be careful, don't break it For if you ever shoot Darling, I never Again, yo le quise traer, dijo que no, que si había de llorar, pa que volver, borrachita me voy. Hasta la capital y a servirle al patrón que me mandó llamar ante ayer. No, 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 no. your appetite. He doesn't. I'm hungry. Dig in, boys. Uh, good morning. Hi, Roy. What's Hello. going on here? What are these things? Blanks? Yeah, we're getting ready for the big stagecoach robbery. Stagecoach robbery? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's Blaisdell's idea of publicity. A big fake holdup for the folks. It's good ballyhoo for the show. You can play the sheriff today. Here's your ammunition. And believe me, they're plenty loud, too, Roy. You know, the way the show is going now, we'll have that 10000 in no time. Oh, we don't need to worry about the money. We've got the gypsy. I don't think we'll have much trouble proving that he's our man. Well, I better run along. I want to have a talk with him before the oil investigators get here. Be seeing you. Okay, okay. Roy. How'd it go? Nothing to it. So easy it wasn't even fun. Cookie, how'd you get yourself in a mess like this? <laughs> what the 
happened, Cookie? Well, I don't know. I was standing there washing the dishes, and somebody clung me from behind. Ooh. Boy, what a goose egg. The next thing I knew, I was hanging up there. Well, don't feel too badly about it. It can happen to anyone. Well, I told you you couldn't trust a gypsy. He's about the smartest operator I ever saw. Sure made a fool out of me. Yeah, well, I'm not. He put on my head. Ain't gonna make me any smarter either. I'm gonna get on the phone and spread the news about it. Put your hands up, please. I just heard your conversation, and I don't want to be shot before I can explain. This is the first time I broke into a jail. Oh, oh boy, Rico, are you in for it now? Assault and battery with a deadly weapon on an officer of the law, and I can prove it. Look right there, look. Oh, that is a beauty. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't do that. I did not even touch you. And what did happen? He was washing dishes. I was playing music. The first thing I knew, a couple of men walked in and hit him from behind. You see what I tell you? Who were they? I couldn't tell. They had masks on. Then I suppose they let you out of jail. That's exactly what they did. They had a horse waiting for me and they told me to escape over the border. Well, why didn't you do it? Because, lawyers, I gave you my word and you trusted me. Now I would not live here until you say so. Okay, Rico, come on out. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, wait a minute, Cookie. Uh, Roy, don't experience teach you anything? You're going to put Rico in my custody. Remember that dream you had last night? Yeah, I remember. Gee, that's funny. I could hear him talking just as plain about turning Rico loose and... Hey, maybe I'm psychic. Maybe you're not. Maybe you didn't dream it. Maybe you heard it when you were outside of Blaisdell's room with the water cooler. Blaisdell's room? Water cooler? Where did that happen? In dreamland. <laughs> I still think a gypsy in jail's worth two in the bushes. <laughs> Our new star, Roy Rogers, will be playing the sheriff in your own Constable Bullfincher, whom you all know is consented to be the stagecoach driver. Candy Martin will be the charming young lady rescued by the brave sheriff. The sons of the pioneers will be the villainous outlaws. Now, this event will take place promptly at 12 o'clock at the corner of Main and Second Streets. Please stay on the sidewalk and avoid the danger of being hurt during this exciting event. Remember now, at 2 o'clock this afternoon, there will be a big matinee in the tent. You're all invited. The price is only 75 cents. Constable, I want to thank you for helping us out today. All right. Well, in a few minutes, boys, we'll be off. Remember, make lots of noise and give them a good show like we always do. All right, put on your masks. Oh, say, Rogers, you're a little new to this, so uh, give us a good head start before you come after us, huh? Right. We're ready. Keep an eye open for anything that isn't in the act. That's what I'm here for. It's just about 12, then. Eh? Should be along in a minute now. What do you want? The payroll and quit The chips. You are correct, my friend. I'm very nervous today. A oh, hurry. Hurry. The chips. It's 12 straight up. Already, Constable? Just take a deep seat and you'll get the thrill of a lifetime. Maybe we all will. Okay, Cookie, let's go. Yes! Ah! Where's McIntyre? He's probably outside watching the show. Get with it, Gus. Hey. What a break. The old goof must have forgot to lock it. In the tin boxes. I watched him bring it in. The easiest job we ever pulled. Just a minute. Put 
are not going so good, boss. What shall we do? Yeah, is this a part of the show? Oh, yeah, yeah, part of the act. Get those things in here. Okay, take it away. Cookie, hand him down. I'll take him. Boy, that act ought to get the show plenty of publicity. For a while there, it was certainly realistic. We've got a great finish for the act, and you and your friend are going to play the leading roles. If you're worried about me, boss. I'm all right. <clears throat> Gee, I'm sorry I had to do that, Rogers, but that guy makes me so nervous. Roy, the gypsy held up the oil company and got away with all the money. The gypsy? Mm -hmm. But, But he couldn't have. The cash boxes are in here. Here. Roy! 
Roy, they're all empty. Looks like you made a mistake, Rogers. Gypsy was your man after all. Ah, I'm not sore. Good luck and catch him. Just a minute. I know we should have kept that Rico in jail when we had him. What's this I hear about you holding up the oil company's office? That is true, Roy. I just wanted to make sure that the money got into the right hand. Here's more. Take him. Okay, boys. Take him away. Looks like part of the reward money is yours. There is more important things in life than money. A la vista, Roy. Yeah. Be seeing you. Hey, somebody help me out of here. I'm stuck by my... <laughs> I'm a gun belt. <laughs> Oh! 